we are back at Costco and this time is to make a review of one of the favorite snacks for a lot of people to take on the go which is jerky. There are tons of different types of jerkies, it's very important to read the labels so let's get in and let's see which are the best choices. We got to the dangerous section of the jerky, look all of this. So why I say dangerous? First, because when we buy jerky, no matter if it's fish jerky or meat jerky, what we have to always take care of is the source, where the animal was raised. If it was in a farm, if it was free range, grass fed, if it's farm raised, if it's wild cat, those are the things we have to look for. So ideally you want to look for wild cat fish whenever it's a fish jerky, or a grass fed whenever it is a meat jerky. That is number one. Second, almost all of these dry jerkies have added sugar, which raises your insulin levels and it's a refined sugar. Third, most of these jerkies have nitrates, which nitrates cause a lot of toxicity to your body a lot of side effects increase the risk of a lot of diseases. Increases free radical tissue damage in your body. Nitrates is a big no. But some of these products, even if it says no nitrates, they still have some nitrates added in the form of celery powder. Yes, celery powder. So celery powder seems that is a pretty healthy thing, right? It's celery, oh, so then it has to be healthy. But the form of celery powder, that is the way they add nitrates to preserve the, jer the jerky longer. So that is one number one thing that we don't want to find in dry things. Not just jerky, but also like sausages and a lot of processed dry food like that. So let's start checking the labels for some of these jerkies here at Costco. Oh, so starting with this one, actually this looks pretty promising because it says very big grass-fed beef. So this looks pretty promising already. It says no added nitrates, no MSG, which is another important toxin to think about. I, lo I don't like to buy jerkies that have any kind of teriyaki sauce or any other type of sauce, soy sauce, because usually that is equal MSG. All right, so it was grass-fed, but when we look at the ingredients label, we see organic beef, grass-fed, cane sugar. Even if it's organic, you already have carbohydrates. I mean, meat is meat. So you don't have seven grams of sugar in there. You have soy sauce and you have natural flavor. So you don't want to find, want to find any source of soy on any ingredient. One, because it's really high in phytoestrogens that mimic your own estrogens. They bind the same receptors in our body and raise our estrogen levels, causes a lot of estrogen dominance and a lot of side effects. And second, soy is really high in lectins that cause a lot of gastrointestinal de-stress and allergies. And it doesn't say anywhere non-GMO. So probably this soy is genetically modified. So this is how far we have to read the label. So this jerk is grass-fed, but it has sugar, it has soy, and it has natural flavors. And there are more than a hundred different type of ingredients that the FDA didn't review. And they are not just natural. They can be also chemicals and uh, synthet synthetized. They are that they come from a lab. It doesn't mean they're all natural from the nature. And even MSG is one of those natural flavors. So you don't want to find natural flavors. So this jerky is not that clean. All right, so we have this other jerky here. So this jerky doesn't say anywhere it's grass-fed. So starting with that, I wouldn't buy it because probably it's full of hormones, estrogens, antibiotics. And of course, second ingredient is sugar has corn, which it doesn't say is not genetically modified, that causes a lot of cross-reactions, like gluten and nitrates. Look at this, it says really clearly nitrates. So definitely, this is not going home. I see here some sources for fish jerky. So these are the two fish jerkies that we have. So both of them are 
Aku and Aji are big fish. Unfortunately, the bigger the fish, the longer the life, the more mercury contamination. There is tons of mercury heavy metals in our water. The bigger the fish, the more it's going in the fish. And you are going to incorporate it and causes a lot of symptoms and in a long term, a lot of chronic diseases related to heavy metals. So these two fish, if it would be salmon, I would say better. But these fish, starting just with that, they are big. But let's see what the ingredient label says. So when we check this ahi, which is a kind of tuna, we see wild cat. This is pretty good because at least it's not farm. We have to look for wild cat. But then they add soy sauce and it doesn't say that it's non-GMO. Probably it's full of MSG. So it's not, and they add sugar. So this is not that clean. This definitely is good because it's wild cat, but then they add soy and sugar that's gonna cause a lot of damage to your body and then this aku says wild cat which is a plus very good it has to be wild cat salt and black pepper so definitely this will be good so i will buy this one if this would be salmon or it would be any other type of wild cat fish that is in the list of the low mercury fish but this one is high in mercury, unfortunately, but the label is very clean. So I found this other brand of tuna jerky that of course is tuna high in mercury, but it's a really good example also of things that you don't want to find on a label. I don't really see anywhere, anywhere on the label that is wild cut. I assume it's wild cut because tuna is usually wild cut, but it doesn't say. So that's point number one why I wouldn't buy it. Plus they have sugar second ingredient and soy sauce and it doesn't say non-GMO. So it's GMO, it's gonna cause a lot of gastrointestinal stress, probably it's a big source of MSG. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, red chili, sesame. So yeah, definitely this is not that clean and we don't even know if it's wild card. And then let me pull together a bunch of other beef jerkies that are here so we are gonna look at them side by side here in the cart so it's easier i'm not in the middle of the corridor there's a lot of people there's a lot of people today so i have all of these brands so let's start with this one this is pork so this is pork not beef it's barbecue i wouldn't buy any jerky that has a barbecue sauce that usually is full of sugar but pork it's very hard to find pork that is grass-fed or pasture-raised. I always say, unless you know any wild pig hunter, <laughs> then there's not a really clean pork. So pork is one of the meats that I say we have to avoid. And then what are the ingredients? Oh, here. So the ingredients is pork, which is not grass-fed, all natural, doesn't mean anything. It's a sugar as a second ingredient, which means no. And then there is a Korean sauce that has sugar. It has wheat, which is a big allergen, and it has soy, which is another big allergen, and it doesn't say non-GMO. If they add brown sugar, yeah. Definitely, this is not a very clean pork jerky. Then we have this one which this is in the form of sausages, dry sausages. It doesn't say anywhere. This is pork as well. It's pork not raised with antibiotics, but it's not grass-fed or pasture-raised, which is what we have to look for. It says cane sugar, celery powder. This is the way they have to add nitrates to this jerky. So don't trust when it says no added nitrates, no added nitrates by itself, but this is the way to add nitrates. Then, what about this one? This beef jerky doesn't say grass-fed either. So I wouldn't buy it because it's not grass-fed. And then again, we see sugar, yeast, they add yeast. So added yeast can cause a lot of microbial imbalance and gastrointestinal inflammation and bacterial dysbiosis. They add celery powder, which is the way to add nitrates again. 
structure, you can see they lie when they say no nitrates. It's a different way to add it, plus they are sugar. Very dirty. No luck for now. Let's see this one, Kirkland brand. Again, it doesn't say grass bed or pasture lace anywhere. And it has sugar. It has nitrates directly, they add nitrates and yeast. This causes a lot of inflammation, candida overgrowth, bacteria dysbiosis, and look at this. They add canola oil. Canola oil is a refined oil. It is refined with petroleum. It's a hydrogenated oil, and that causes a lot of damage. So definitely this is very dirty. So let's see if we have a better luck with the last one. So this is also in the form of sticks, and it's grass-fed, which starting with this is okay. But then let's see which are the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we have grass-fed beef, good, salt, lactic acid. Mm, that's a, a, an additive. Oh no, it has celery powder, and celery powder is the way to add nitrates. So they are proud of these ingredients. Because they look very clean, as you can see, it's onion, pepper, coriander, black pepper, red pepper. So it looks pretty clean in here. And a lot of people would buy it. But I wouldn't buy it because of the celery powder. I'm not going to buy any jerkies today because I don't think they are 100% clean. And it's very easy to make it. Just put your favorite spices, oil, and put it in the oven to dehydrate. And that's it if you don't have a dehydrator. Very simple. I'm going to make a recipe how to make your own jerky in the oven or the air fryer or dehydrator. All right, everyone. So I hope now you learn how to read behind the labels when you are buying any type of dry meat like this. This is very, very important. And I would love to know if, you, if there is any brand of jerky that you feel is very clean, put it in the comment section. Also, if there is any product that you want me to review and I can make a video about that, also put it in the comments as well. And I hope to see you hanging out in the channel. If you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And then I hope to see you in the next video.